Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. And the topic of this video is even more reasons a woman's body count doesn't matter. Yeah, so before I get into that, you know, um, I want to let you guys know, like I do these past few videos, this channel is not just about dating relationships. And it's not for me, it's actually for you guys. But it is about health, wealth, mindset as well as dating relationships everything because i want to make both men and women become the best versions of themselves they can be you know what i mean so um like subscribe of course you like the videos you want to support me hit that like button and don't forget to hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever i upload some new videos let's get back into this topic <sighs> Even more reasons a woman's body count doesn't matter. So this is uh, actually one of more, my more popular <laughs> videos. I'm actually going to uh, leave a link on the, here for you guys to go back to uh, one of my past videos here. Caught up straight steam a little bit a few months after I, or actually a little few weeks or months after I actually uploaded it. So I was surprised. You know, a lot of people have a lot of uh, vitriol, a lot of uh, opinions, negative opinions about that video. You know, so, and I understand, you know, people like um, Fresh and Fit and other Red Peel guys, they talk a lot of, a lot of stuff about the body count and how it actually is a reflection of women. And ultimately, um, you know, I don't agree, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I know the Fresh and Fit are pretty big and a lot of their following other Red Pill uh, followings have come to that video and just let me know their opinion, you know what I mean? In not so nice ways, you know, so, but it's all good. It's a part of the game, you know what I mean? So, but the reason that there's even more reasons that a woman's body count doesn't matter is because first, women change. Just like men change. I'm sure you are not the same person you were five years ago, even a year ago, sometimes even a month ago. You could have changed. Things changed drastically. So you might've had a woman who slept with 500 men, but when she met you, she decided to cut it off. Maybe you influenced her mind and she was like, hey, you know, I don't want to be do be that person anymore because I met you. Even if you guys broke up, she said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to be a, a relationship type girl. You know what I mean? So it's like <laughs> you judging her off of her past is just, is, is weak. Because you're forgetting that you have a past that you might not be so uh, proud of. You know what I mean? And you wouldn't want someone to judge you off of your past. So you shouldn't judge women off of their past, especially when it has nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? Second, and this is also very important, the most important thing should be how she treats you. Because all the sex that she had in her past had nothing to do with you. All the relationships she may have been in have nothing to do with you. All that matters is how she treats you. Because if she treats you well, all that stuff doesn't matter or shouldn't matter. Because she's treating you well. You know what I mean? And that's what you should want in a relationship or when you deal with a girl. It doesn't matter her past. Because if she treats you well, you will be happy, and in turn, if you are a strong man, you will make her happy. And then that is it, <laughs> point blank period. You know what I mean? Her body count has nothing to do with how she will treat you. Talk, people talk about, oh, pair bonding and this and that and yada, yada, yada. I get it. But logically, that doesn't make sense. Because I'm going to be a little graphic here, but another man's you know, splunk, sperm, whatever you want to, you know, ejaculate, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't affect a woman's brain. It doesn't affect her emotions. People's actions do. You know what I mean? So all that's not going to affect 
how she treats you. You know what I mean? The pair bonding and all that, it doesn't matter. You will be able to pair bond with the woman if she likes you enough and you treat her well. And that's it. <laughs> that is it. So, but the third reason, sex is just sex, a human act. You know, my guy, Lucario, <laughs> he would say sex is like a handshake. But if you think about it, he's right. Because sex is a consensual act, generally, between two human beings. So sex is nothing more than a natural thing that humans do. When you put so much stock in it, oh, body count, whoa, 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 whoa. You're making it bigger than it is. And we get it. You could have ramifications. You could get STDs. You could have, you know, you know have kids. But basic principle is sex is just sex. It is a, a, an act between two humans that generally is consensual. So when you're trying to put it such, such, such a, 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 a um, such power behind the number of people she's had sex, it's like the number of people you've had a handshake with or number of people you've hugged, you know what I mean? And I get it. It's just, you know, you, there's more ramifications, but basically sex is just nothing but a human act and it's sex. There's really nothing more to it unless if you put more to it. And when you put more to it, that's when you have struggles because you're putting too much emphasis, too much emphasis on it. You know what I mean? Sex is really just a human act and it's, it shouldn't be taken any, any more uh, than that. You know, so I guess number four, you are jealous women have more sex than you. It's like that guy who who's mad at the dude who all the girls like, you know, he feel like all the girls should be liking him. But instead of trying to improve himself, instead of improving himself, we don't try as strong men. We don't try. We do like Yoda says, <laughs> but instead of improving himself, he wants to bash the other person, you know. Uh, to make himself feel better same with women you're jealous you're not getting all the sex so because she's had all that sex you want to bash her to make yourself feel better and it's 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 not good because um when you do that you again you're putting this uh sex on a pedestal and you're making her sex be so important where you're not going to be able to get up there because in your mind you're putting it as a bad thing you know what I mean? And sex is not something, again, it is just an act between humans. Sex is sex. Don't be jealous because a woman has had more sex than you. And I get it. They get thrown opportunities left and right. Ten hundred times more than you will. But that's just more reason for you to improve yourself and become better. Because you can be that guy. And you don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to be anything special. You could be a guy who just obviously looks good and knows how to talk to women or has game. You know what I mean? It's just all about living your life on your terms and becoming the guy that women want to have sex with consistently. So, but yeah, last but not least, how you feel about women with a high body count or how you judge women with a high body count is how you feel about yourself. Again, you are judging her because you're not having sex as much as she is. Or you feel like she's had a lot more sex than you. And you're like, dang, you wanted to have that sex, but you couldn't. So instead of working on yourself, you are bringing her down to feel better about yourself. Because you feel bad that you're not having sex. You got you to gotta feel bad that she's, having, she's had a lot of sex. You know, so it's just not good. You don't ever want to be that guy in anything, let alone with women, especially women who've had a lot of sex. And on top of that, they could be the best. They could really help you out, help you become a better lover, um, give you better experiences. But you want to throw that all the way just because she's had more sex than you. And that's where the problem lies, you know. So it is all good, though. Um, you just got to do better, become better, and you will get better. You know, so that is all I got for y'all here today. Let me know what you think. Like, 
Uh, comment, subscribe. Of course, hit that notification button. Let me know whether you agree with what I said, whether you disagree. Of course, if you dislike the video, let me know in the comments how come so I can improve. But don't just say, oh, this video is embarrassing or this is a terrible video. Actually tell me how come so I can make some improvements to my videos and my channel. You know, but of course, um, again, this channel is not just for me. It's actually more for you guys. Um, so if you have any other topics you want me to talk about when it comes to health, wealth, mindset, or even dating and relationships, but I want to kind of expand from that, let me know. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. It is very important because I want to help you guys become better in all aspects of your life, not just dating relationships. And of course, if you found value in this video, you can hit the donation button or donate. There's no red button, but you can donate any little bit counts. I appreciate it, but only if you found value, only if you found value. And of course, I uh, hope you all stay, stay safe. And until next week, always remember the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.